Hello, in this video we'll be talking about another kind of acid um, called Lewis acids and of course there's also Lewis bases. Um, a little bit different from bronze Lowry acids and bases but we will see how they're sort of related to each other at the end of the video. Okay, so what is a Lewis acid? Well it's an electron deficient, what I would call needy ion or molecule or in some cases an individual atom that wants to find a pair of electrons on another molecule to share. So here's a molecule with a pair of electrons sticking out here like a sore thumb. Here comes a Lewis acid that really wants to find a pair of electrons it can bond to and bonds to it. So Lewis base, Lewis acid. And the Lewis base, of course, is electron rich or generous. It wants to donate a pair of electrons, share it with a Lewis acid. So the Lewis base has a pair that it wants to share with somebody else. And the Lewis acid wants to find a pair that it can share with somebody else. Okay, so here's an example. Uh, this is a molecule that has a boron in it. Remember, boron only has a balance of three, so it has three bonds, as it does here. It's neutral, so this is a neutral boron, but it doesn't have an octet, so it really wants to find another pair of electrons in order to fulfill its octet. So what would be the Lewis acid? It would be the needy molecule, the Lewis acid. And this is an oxygen, just you know, an OH group in a methanol molecule. It has pairs of electrons that it can share with that boron, so it's going to donate a pair of electrons in here to the boron form a new bond here, but of course once the oxygen has donated its pair of electrons in, then it is essentially given away an electron and so it becomes positive, as we've seen before, three bonds to oxygen are always positive. And the boron, when it has four bonds to it, is negative because now it has four valence electrons instead of three. In essence, it's picked up one electron from the oxygen by sharing that pair. This pair isn't there anymore, but now it's a bond in here, so this pair moves in here between the oxygen and the boron. As I've said, this one is a Lewis acid. And this one is the Lewis base. The Lewis acid accepts a pair of electrons. The Lewis base donates a pair of electrons. It's the opposite from the bronson lowry model when you're talking about protons because a bronson lowry acid donates a proton. Lewis base picks up a proton. But now we're not talking about protons. We're talking about pairs of electrons, opposite charge. Protons are positive. Electrons are negative. Here's another example. This molecule, which is an alkene, and this molecule, which is a carbocation, react together to form a longer chain of carbons with a new positive charge. The double bond becomes a single bond in between here. So draw the curved arrow. Obviously this pair of electrons moves in here to form a new bond right there. Which one's the Lewis acid and which one is the Lewis base? Well again, the Lewis acid is the one that's electron deficient that wants to grab the pair of electrons from somewhere. It's the needy molecule and that clearly is the carbocation. It's electron deficient because this carbon not only is positive but lacks an octet. Here's a pair of electrons that it can grab onto. Now it's not a lone pair of electrons, a pair of electrons double bond, but it can be moved in here to form a new bond there, so this is clearly the Lewis base, Lewis acid. This is the needy molecule, this is the generous one. Now, Lewis acids and Lewis bases is a terminology that organic chemists don't use all that often. We use the terminology electrophiles and nucleophiles. We'll talk about nucleophilic substitution, we'll talk about electrophilic substitution, we'll talk about nucleophiles a lot in future chapters. So, what are they? Well, basically a Lewis acid is what we sometimes call an electrophile, meaning a lover of electrons. It, phile means lover of, and electro stands for electrons, so it really wants to find electrons, it loves electrons, it's going to go out and find a pair of electrons. A nucleophile, on the other hand, is a lover of nuclei, so it's something that has a pair of electrons that it wants to donate to another nucleus, so it wants to find another nucleus being something positive like carbon, or electron deficient like boron. So basically, so basically two different terminologies for the same thing. A Lewis acid is an electrophile, a Lewis base is a nucleophile. Here's some more examples. Water attaching to a carbocation. This is clearly the nucleophile, this is the electrophile. The nucleophile wants to donate a pair of electrons in to form a new bond. That's also what we call a Lewis base. So this is your Lewis base, this is your Lewis acid new bond in here. In this example over here, the hydroxide, the OH- is the nucleophile. Um, it wants to donate its pair of electrons, it's a Lewis base. And the methyl chloride, in this case, is the electrophile, although it doesn't seem to be electron deficient. The carbon with the three hydrogens is having this pair of electrons in between pulled away from the carbon by the chlorine, and so that carbon is in fact electron deficient. It wants to find a pair of electrons that it can uh, replace, and so the pair on the oxygen moves in, the bond between the carbon and the chlorine moves out. The hydroxide is a nucleophile or the Lewis base, the methyl chloride is the electrophile or the Lewis acid. Now, finally, how are Lewis acids and bases 
similar to Bronsted, Lowry, acids and bases. Well, notice that in this example, this is a Bronsted Lowry acid that wants to donate a proton to the oxygen. Or this is your acid, this is your base. This is going to donate an H plus to the base. But in so doing, a pair of electrons moves in here to form a new bond between the oxygen and the hydrogen. So the hydrogen's moving this way, the pair of electrons is moving this way. This is a Bronsted Lowry acid. This is a Bronsted Lowry base. But if you think about it, this is also a Lewis base because it's donating in a pair of electrons. And this is a Lewis acid because its needy it wants to get the pair of electrons in here. And so obviously then this is a conjugate acid of this base. This is a conjugate base of this acid. So in summary, Bronsted-Lowry acids, which you remember are the proton donor, is in other words something that wants to give away an H+, really just constitute a special case of the Lewis acids, where remember Lewis acids are things that want to find a pair of electrons on some other molecule and share them. So Bronsted-Lowry acids are really just a special case of Lewis acids, where the electrophile is a hydrogen that it's trying to share a pair of electrons with, instead of a carbon or some other atom. Bronsted bases are really just Lewis bases in almost every way, shape, and form, where the nucleophile, the pair of electrons that's, that it wants to share with something, is attaching to a hydrogen instead of to a carbon or some other atom. So notice in this first equation, this is a classic Bronsted acid-base reaction where hydroxide is the base and HCl is the acid and the hydroxide is coming along, sharing a pair of electrons with a hydrogen to form water, which is the conjugate acid of hydroxide and to form chloride, which is the conjugate base of HCl. The second one is a classic nucleophile-electrophile reaction, or what we might refer to as a Lewis base, Lewis acid reaction, where the hydroxide, instead of acting as a base, is acting as a nucleophile and attacking that carbon and pushing out the chloride, the carbon being electron deficient and wants to share a pair of electrons with the hydroxide so that it can get rid of that chloride. Notice that in one case, hydroxide is a Bronsted base, in the other case, it's a Lewis base or a nucleophile. It's essentially doing the same thing. In one case, it's sharing with hydrogen, in the other case, it's sharing with a carbon. And the Bronsted acid has a hydrogen and it wants to give away to a pair of electrons on something else. In the Lewis acid case, it's the carbon that we consider to be the Lewis acid because it's electron deficient and it wants to share with a pair of electrons. But again, it's essentially the same thing, it's just a hydrogen instead of a carbon that's being shared. That will finish this lecture. Thank you.